Okay, I'm going to do some examples with uh, scientific notation. And uh, we just want to express these in proper scientific notation. Of course, that means you have one number, decimal place, and then whatever other numbers um, in, the, in the number. And so here we have 102.34. So that means we want the decimal to go between the 1 and the 0. And that means we have to move it how many places? One, two places. So that's going to be 1.0234 times 10 to the 2. All right. With this one, same thing. We can write the numbers out all the time. 8.610. And that's going to be times 10 to the first power. And here, same sort of thing. 4.130 times 10 to the 2. Now this one, we're going the other direction. So we're going to put 1.3. And then we want to go three places in the opposite direction, so that's a negative three. Here, 1.81 times 10 to the negative two. Here we have just 7.0 times 10 to the negative one. All right, now here we have 3.218, okay? This one is already in the right place. And so what we can do is just say times 10 to the zero, meaning we don't need to move it either to the left or to the right. Here we have now we have an exponent to keep uh, track of, and so this will be 1.241. So instead of times 10 to the 3, instead of moving it three places to the right, we need to move it an additional one place. So that will be times 10 to the 4th. Here, 2.618, putting it where it should go between the first, uh, after the first digit. And then instead of two places to the left, we only need to go one place to the left. So this will be times 10 to the minus 1. Here we have, um, will be 8.3 times 10, not four places to the right, but only two places to the right. Okay, it doesn't need to go as far from this point. Here we have 4.14, and here it's saying we're, we don't need to move it either to the right or to the left. And so uh, if we have it here, that's going to be one place over to the left times 10 to the negative 1. So in other words, in order to get this number, I need to move the decimal place one place to the left. And then finally here, it's already in proper scientific notation, so I really don't have to do anything to this one. That's just a freebie. Okay, so you'll notice with all of these, we have one digit, and then the decimal, and then whatever remaining digits there are in the number as it was given. And then we put the times 10 uh, factor on the end, and we always put 
a number, even if it's zero or, um, or one. We didn't have an example like that, but oh, here's one. Um, so we always write the exponent. All right, I hope that was helpful.